Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I am so excited to bring you from our friends at Hunky Dory Crafts, these Moonstone cutting dies. This one is the shadow box frame, woodland scene and winter scene. And they make these adorable little 3D shadow box cards, okay? We also have these four by three card blanks that turn these little shadow boxes into cards. And I'm gonna show you how this all comes together. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay, so this one is just white on white cardstock, as you can see, um, really classic look. And then I wanted to do something a little different. So for this one, um, I went ahead and did some coloring on each one of these layers and even used a little bit of fluffy stuff. Here we go from Cosmic Shimmer to give that some dimension. I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I'm gonna show you the coloring techniques first and then I'm gonna show you how to assemble it. So don't worry, we're gonna see it all. So the first thing I did was the very background here um, comes with a die like this. Oh, I should show you how the dies look. So take my little sticker off. So on this particular one, this is the woodland scene. Okay, and then this one is the shadow box dies. And as you can see, it has the different um, shapes and things. So you can also make, and if you check the website, you can also use this to just make shadow box cards for um, just stamped greetings that are really, really beautiful. And then this is the winter scene right here. Okay, so now let's get back to the fun coloring part. So I'm gonna take my medium blender brush and the blue Cat Eye Q ink pads. And I'm gonna start off with, oops, sort of of two shades here, a navy blue and this turquoise teal blue. And I'm gonna do the lighter shade, the turquoise first, tap off some of the excess right here and then just really, you really only have to do the top part of this background. As you can see here, you're only seeing the top. So I'm gonna give that two shades of blue. There we go. And I just like to blend those two shades together. All right, there we go. And then, as you can see, it's got some sparkly stars in that. And I just use gold holographic paper. And I put that right behind there to give it that sparkle. All right, so let's do some coloring of our little houses and our scene here. First, I'm gonna get a baby wipe and clean up my mess. And I've said this before, one thing that I really love about these blender brushes, you can just take, they clean up so easily that, you know, when you're in the middle of a project, you don't want to stop and go wash your brushes out with soap and water. So in the meantime, in between colors, I just like to use a wipe and they just come clean like that, which is wonderful. And then when I'm done with my project, then I, I go do the, the thing you're supposed to do and wash them with soap and water. All right. Turn this over since it's a little damp. And to do this coloring, I just went ahead and I used the yellow and green Cat IQ and the Basics, which has some really nice metallic colors as well as black and white. Just used a cotton swab, okay? So I'm gonna take the dark green. Actually, I'm gonna start with the medium green. There we go. I'm gonna start with coloring my trees with a nice medium green. And then add a little bit of dark green on the edge there. And Steve, can we like zoom in a little bit on this? There we go. All right, and then I take, this is a nice bronze color. And I'm gonna do my little tree here. Just one of the little pieces didn't get evacuated. There we go. And I'm gonna do the tree. And then when I'm getting ready to do the houses, 
I just take a piece of scrap cardstock and I want to sort of mask off the bottom area because I don't want to get any of that bronze color right there. And because that bronze color is so close to the tree color, I can always add a little bit of gold to that. Just change that color up a little bit. All right, and then when I'm doing the, the roof, just add a little bit of black. Once again, I'm gonna use this mask right here and color that roof. Same with the next house here. Color that. And then do the roof. Oops. And now we're gonna add some fluffy stuff to our little panel. There we go. So for the fluffy stuff, I like to put a little bit of snow on the roof. Oops. A little bit on the roof line. Just right here. And then a little bit across the top here. Put a little bit in the trees. And then on one side of the trees. All right, then we're gonna add it along the houses. I'm just sort of skipping areas. I don't want it to be too um, symmetrical or too even. And now we're just gonna go along these little snowdrift lines. That, maybe even add a little bit more. So you don't have to get uh, too much um, away from this space right here because these, all of these layers sort of just get covered up when we are adding the other layers. So. Here's my heat gun on high. And Steve, let's zoom in a lot on this. There we go. I'm gonna wait for my gun to heat up a little bit. I'm gonna take it away and just kind of let it heat up. All right, there we go. See how it just takes off and it gets all crackly. Just the most fun stuff. Now, if you leave it too long in one space, it will yellow and turn brown. So just keep that moving. There we go. All right, so um, actually before I did the fluffy stuff, let's zoom out a little bit, Steve. Before I did the fluffy stuff, I actually should have uh, folded over my panel. And there is a great video from Hunky Dory. These are scored panels, okay? And um, there's a great video on how to die cut each of these panel pieces and all the little tips and tricks. And I'm going to connect that or put the link to that in, on the vlog page. And if you're watching us on YouTube, we're going to put that down in the descriptions as well. So um, I just think they, they did a great job with that too. So I'm just going to make sure you guys have that information. There we go. I should have done that first. Okay, so... This is how this is going to look. It's not the full assembly yet because we're gonna do that later. But you see, that's the, one of the layers there. Isn't that adorable? Paulette had a great idea. She was thinking about taking the um, window from Hot Off the Press. This is the arch window cutting die. And taking this window, and why not put that inside the scene to use a window card, and I thought that was brilliant. So how you would do that is just take this and cut this away. So just give you an entirely different use for this. Okay, and then just cut apart some of these little spots. We don't need those little flaps. Isn't that cute? That would be adorable on a card. So great idea, Paulette. Um, all right, so let's look at how to make this one the woodland scene. And for this one, I'm going to show you how to do the construction on this, okay? Oh dear. 
I need another baby wipe. All right, got some of my fluffy stuff on here. All right, so for this particular one, I cut all of the pieces and I'll show you how I did that. So this is the piece, this outer piece right here for the shadow box. And for that, you start with this piece right here, this large frame. Okay, so that's gonna go like this. And then you take that, you take this little smaller square frame and you put that there and they're gonna run that through your die cutting machine to get this piece, all right? And then to get the pieces for the panels, like this one, you're going to use this piece, which is a smaller frame. Here we go. And then you take from the Woodland set, see if I can get this out of here without too much trouble. There we go. From the Woodland set, I took this one with the birch trees. There we go, like that. Okay, so you do this with each one of your panels, and then um, the lines are scored here, but I found that using um, a bone folder is really helpful when folding these because I just thought maybe that the score lines weren't quite um, profound enough. So I just folded that over and I'm just using that bone folder. And if you do that little trick, it helps a lot with the assembly process, okay? Alrighty, so we did this with each one of the different scene pieces and I did some coloring on them. There we go. So on the birch, I just used a little bit of this copper color. And then for the trees, excuse me, for the tree leaves, I just took some green and just used my cotton swab again. And for the grass, I cut this out of green cardstock. And all of these papers here came from pastel cardstock pack, which was great. And then just white and then some dark brown cardstock. And this one I colored all the leaves and the ivy. And then I also used, um, for these flowers, which is upside down, um, I used two shades of purple, okay, from the Cat Eye Purple collection. Okay, so then I'm gonna assemble this and I'll show you what all these panels and are gonna look like. So I got a little bit of a head start on assembling here. So I'm gonna give you a little down shot on this. So what I've done is put um, some extra sticky tape, it's double-sided tape, on each one of these folded panels. I'm gonna turn this over. Now, I like to start with the front panel first. So the front uh, grass went down first, and then the one with the flowers went down. And then this one, the little tree branches. So what we're gonna do is just kinda open this up, put this right there, making sure that it's flush with this side and this side. Okay, and then you just turn it over and do the same. And really that's the, the most important part is making sure that it's flush, otherwise you're gonna have some sticking out, which is, then it's really hard to reposition because you've already got it double taped down. Okay, so there you go. All right, that's how it's looking. All right, and so I've got my tape on this side. There you go. And put this last panel in of the branches. Oops, so making sure everything is aligned. Going to the other side. All right. Like how that's looking. Okay, so then um, that's what it looks like so far. So now I'm gonna take one of the four by three inch cards. They also come with the little envelopes, which is adorable. Um, these actually um, can, for mailing, you can lay them down flat like that, and then they can pop right back up again. So um, let's do a little bit of coloring on the background of this one too. 
So here's our, I'm going to do a nice blue color. Okay, and just a little, whoops, I forgot to tap off my color here. So now I have a nice big spot. It's okay, we'll just try to blend that out. So now you know what happens when you don't tap off your color, you get a big bullseye spot on there. All right, so we're just trying to go for some sort of cloud look here. So I'm going to just add some more spots in. Be consistent. All right, there we go. And this one, we need to go all the way down to the bottom with the color. All right, let's see if we like that. Yeah, I like how that looks. Okay. So that will just be, I'll put um, tape here and here and put that right there. And then I like the idea of adding in something a little different. And this is a little die cut deer that is from the Snow Globe and Scene cutting dies from Hot Off the Press. So we're just gonna take some of this, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and put glue instead of the extra sticky tape. Because the Cosmic Shimmer glue works great for this. It's just that um, you do have to just hold it in place a little bit, your pieces. So let's just put some glue on here and then get this all assembled for real. It never really works out when I'm like, okay, I just won't take time to glue that down and move to the next step and then everything just goes flying. There we go. Okay, just making sure everything is squared up. Okay, there. All right, so now I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the feet of this cute little deer. And we can just tuck that right back in the scene. Like that. Oops, its head is stuck behind a branch. <laughs> All right, there we go. So there you have it. There's your little 3D scene. So fun to put together. Um, I would definitely recommend you check out our money saver for all of these pieces, the cards and the three cutting die sets. Really fun to play with and perfect for the holidays. You can do the little snow scenes and the woodland scene. You can color them. You can just do the white. Um, it's really adorable. So check that out. If you're watching us on YouTube, check out the money saver in the description below. And I will see you next time.